Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the O'Brien Rink for today's matchup between the Woburn Tanners and your Winchester Red and Black. My name is Luca Tedesco. I will be your color commentator for this first game, and we'll be taking over as play-by-play -play for the second game, but taking you through today's game will be Nikhil Karthikeyan. So, take it away, man. So, the real headlines today would be Woburn's team. Down to down a couple of players due to COVID. Down to nine, if I remember correctly. Winchester also has a couple out due to COVID, but Woburn down by a significant margin. Today, uh, the Woburn Tanners are are three one and one, and the Red and Black are four and zero oh to start the season. So they're looking to continue their undefeated streak on the back of. Claire Zhang and Molly Hillier. Zhang is going to get the start today. And for Woburn, Alyssa Wackrow will be getting the start in goal. Uh, why don't we go to the starting lineups? What do you think? Want to take that? Uh, I, I got them, so. The starting lineups for today's game will be on the left wing, number eight, Georgia Costello. At center will be number 17, Irene Mandel. On the right will be Alexandria Dente. Back behind will be Annie Ettenhofer and Amy Kelly. They wear 27 and number 21, respectively. And at number 30, Claire Zhang will start in net tonight. The Tanners bring out their lineup of ML Pinheiro. She wears number 19. Maddie Soderquist, she wears number 4. Ari Mergo, the 8th grader, she wears number 9. In On the defensive side will be number 20, Kate Sullivan, and number 18, Taylor Buckley. And in net will be Alyssa Wacker, who we already mentioned earlier. But... We uh, will pause here and honor America with the playing of our national anthem. And we're about to get underway between Winchester and Woburn. This season, Winchester's being head coached by Craig Seabury, and Woburn's head coach is Steve Kennedy. Should be a pretty solid matchup today between Winchester and Woburn. They will play as they so often do. The, the rivalry continues. Officials just getting some pucks so that they're ready to go. Speaking of Winchester and Woburn's rivalry, 
it's an old rivalry, having been gone on for over 50 years. Over 50 years. Try since 1893. Some Winchester and Woburn sports team have played each other. First Winchester Woburn Thanksgiving matchup took place in it on Thanksgiving 1893, and I believe, if I remember correctly, Woburn won it. That would be football. Yes, it would, but this is hockey. And we are underway. Puck just being played in the neutral zone, and Woburn will take it behind their blue line. Pass up for Soderquist, who just try to get it in the corner. Now to the blue line. Great and block there. And Woburn will just get the puck out of the zone and dump it back in. And it hits the mesh and is out of play. Great block there to start some defensive work there by Irene Mandel, the junior captain. With some real good defensive work back behind. Just got some quick line changes. And the referee gets ready to drop the puck again. And it falls back now for Ettenhofer, who tries to clear, but will only get it to center. And Woburn will just take it back in their own zone. Up the wing now goes 14, who just dumps it in, trying to chase. Bloomsack missed the puck. And Woburn will take it around behind their goal again. They still are fighting for the puck back there. And now it's coming into the center for Bloomsack, whose shot is blocked. Pika on the block there. And up the ice come the Tanners. And here they come. Flavin dumps it in. And it takes a weird bounce. But it will only come for Winchester players. Now skating up the ice is Ettenhofer. Reinforcements come from the bench. And she loses the puck behind the zone. And it's going to be dumped back in by Walsh. Mandiel now on the corner trying to fight it. And the puck comes out of the zone. And that will be a delayed offside. Winchester will tag up. And that clears the offside. Now Woburn's defense are playing catch. And it'll fall back for Edenhofer of Winchester. And Puck's just dumped in, and Winchester will go for a change. No icing because of the tip there, and Woburn gets the puck, trying to make a good play. A long pass now for Soderquist, who's not able to get through three defenders on her. And it will be picked up by Costello, who will just dump it back. But Woburn's able to keep it in the zone, and they're still fighting near the blue line. And they will just take it to their own side of the ice. Now rushing back in is Pinheiro, whose shot is saved by Zhang. First save of the night for Zhang, and pretty good stop at that. Definitely already seen some pretty good attacking pressure made by Woburn. Definitely moving the puck up ice, trying to get good scoring chances. They've already had two, but both have gone awry. And Soderquist wins the draw for Woburn, and it's back to the point. And a shot is blocked. And Winchester will come back the other way. They have a three on two. And Bloomsack will take it in the corner now for Winchester. She'll send it around, looking for Lobello. And now a centering pass will be gathered by Ettenhofer of the defense and sent around. And... Oh. It hit me! <laughs> they got me! What a shot! That was... That hit me in the chest! It hit me! <laughs> right, give me the puck! <laughs> well, you missed the ref. Well, when you get hit in the chest, I think it's a little bit of a... Well, there's a, I, thank you didn't hit me in the face, because that would have been bad. That's not something you see every day. That is a first. I've been up here three years, and I've never had that happen. It's only my third game. 
And now standing up the wing is Costello. And she'll try a shot. And that will be stopped by Wacro. Decent shot from the side. But better, shot really, the, better shot than the one up here. <laughs> really didn't stand a chance against Wacro. Woburn tries to change, but the ref tells them that they can't change. Yeah, they changed a bit too late. The uh, referee... Uh, but at least he giving them a, no, he's going to allow them, probably just give him a warning there. He had his arm up, which uh, the visiting team gets uh, five seconds. Then the home team gets five seconds, and then you got to go. So, But once the, the referee puts his arm up, there are no more changes. And Woburn will try to clear now, and it's stolen by Winchester. Dente centers for Costello, and the pass is intercepted by the Woburn defender. Trying to get a center pass at center ice. And now coming back up is Dente, who will dump it, and Winchester will go for a change. Wholesale change. Winchester, Woburn might be able to catch him unawares here. And it looks like they have it on the wing. And it's just going to be dumped into the left side. Walsh isn't able to clear for Winchester. And it comes out near the face-off circle. And now skating back the other way is Bloomsack for Winchester. And she'll also just dump it in. Puck nearly hit the Zamboni door. And just going to be held in the corner. Both teams trying to get the puck. And Woburn will come away with it. Soderquist now skating up the left side. Puck stolen again by a Winchester player. And it's going to be cleared by 14. Now skating up the ice is Woburn. Pass was nearly intercepted. Woburn player falls. And it'll still be in the zone. Can't call tripping on the ice there. Edenhofer wasn't able to clear, and now coming towards the center of the net is the Woburn player, and then the next player fans on the shot, and Winchester will come back the other way. They fight for it near the blue line, and it's going to be pinned up against the boards, and it's finally taken out of the boards. And Winchester will come for another quick change, and Woburn can capitalize here. Skating up the center ice was... Pika, not able to get anything going on offense. Costello will just regather in Winchester corner. And the ref will call icing. It's, it's 410, not 14. And the faceoff comes back into the Winchester zone after they were just called for Iser. Mandiel on the faceoff for Winchester. Against Soderquist of Woburn. Draw the faceoff and the puck is sent back into their own zone. And they'll clear it. And now coming back the other way is Mandiel of Winchester. And she's... That's got to be a call. How is that not a call by the official? And back the other way comes Woburn and Soderquist flying down the ice. She looks for the centering pass, but it was tipped to the corner. And uh, another pass was deflected. And they sent it back in, but it will be gathered by Ettenhofer. Her pass was deflected, and she now skates down. A shot's blocked behind the goal, and Woburn will take the puck back. And now a steal from Winchester comes Lobello, and a deflected shot barely made it to the net. Now Ettenhofer dumps it back in, and the defense will change. The offense will stay out there for Winchester. Great play by Fortin to get her leg up there so they weren't offside. Great play. And another steal for Winchester. They'll dump it again. This time, some of the offense will change. And the pass... Across the ice is nowhere and falls to Winchester. Now Costello trying to go up the ice for Winchester. And coming into the zone is Woburn. And Walsh will recover for Winchester and try to send it out. But it hit the official it seemed like. And now Winchester will get the clear. And coming down is Costello on a 1v1. And goes to the outside, a shot's blocked, and the Woburn player loses her stick. Great. And in front, and oh, nearly, Mandiel had an open net. Great block by Sullivan, but Winchester still in the zone. That also needs to be a penalty. That was a cross-check by Sullivan straight into the back of Costello, and it wasn't called. 
and Costello try, gets the puck again. Winchester will just change. Two missed penalties by the referees, and we're barely seven and a half minutes into this. Unbelievable. And now another steal for Winchester. Coming is Bloomsack, and she's not able to get anything going. You had the missed trip down in the zone on Mantel, and then you have the missed cross check by Costello. Two terrible calls by the officials. Slow start to the play. Back to the faceoff is 4-10. And they draw it up. And it's going to be sent back in by Crayer. And the pass was intercepted again by Bloomsack, who fights behind the be uh, goal for the puck. And it's going to be cleared out down the ice and no icing. And a steal for Wuburn. In comes Soderquist, and she falls. But the puck is still in the zone. She tries a centering pass. It's off Zhang's stick. Good save by Zhang. And now Winchester will be able to get it past the blue line and clear. Quick line change now. And that icing. will be called an icing. So lots of line changes for Winchester, of course. Not much for Wuburn since they are so short-handed on players. Wuburn just trying to keep their skaters out there for as long as possible. They've done a good job so I guess far. it's a good, good idea, but when you're that short staff, I feel like you'd want to make line changes as quickly as possible so that you don't just get your skaters exhausted by the end of the first period. 30 second shifts at the absolute maximum. Winchester has a bit more ability to play slightly longer shifts, but Woover's got to keep it in. And now coming up the wing, and the pass will be steal, stolen by Mendiel. And then stolen again by the Woburn player, Pika. A shot, and it goes off of Zhang's masks. Didn't look like she was anticipating the shot there. Bloomsack sends it around the boards, and it will get out of the zone. Woburn will just regather again, and going past a few players is Buckley. And she skates to like three players and she's not able to control the puck and it just falls into the glove of Zhang. Well I guess it's good that the officials aren't calling penalties to either side because in the last minute I've seen at least two penalties that should have been called but were missed. A trip right in the on the blue line for Winchester and a, probably another one down near the goal so I guess at least it's good that they aren't calling it either way. Bloomsack will get it out of the zone on a deflected pass so this won't be called icing and Woburn will just regather and a pass out was blocked and it falls to Winchester Walsh will pass it up to Bloomsack who loses the puck in comes Sullivan who passes it across and up the ice long pass was not able to be controlled by Soderquist Wuburn just will take it slowly behind their net. Keo, a long pass for Soderquist, who dangles through a couple of players, and now on the left side, and her shot is deflected, and she's not able to get a clean pass off. And now coming up the ice for Winchester is Sardone, or Burke, who loses the puck. And now... She'll keep on fighting for it in the zone. And Woburn will take the puck and get it out. Hits the official. Falls back for Soderquist, who's had a couple of good chances so far. But ultimately falls back for Winchester, who will go for a line change, which is a bit of a dangerous line change there. Woburn nearly had a good chance. And just a shot will fall to the corner. Now Ettenhofer behind her net. And there was a hold. See, another call Luca doesn't agree with. It's the fun part about being a referee. You see things that from up here that are pretty, a lot easier than what the refs are doing on the ice. And I, I know that how difficult this job is. And here comes Mandiel. And she deeks through one. And she scores. What a goal from Mandiel. That was incredible. What a goal from, Man from Mandel. Deeks. 
snipes and sellies with her teammates. What a goal on the fast break. Unbelievable goal. Even Duke, the goaltender there. Got everyone on that play. What a shot. That was incredible. And that's why she's the captain, leading by example. Just skates back to the center and is already ready for another faceoff. Woburn wins the faceoff now, and back comes Soderquist down center ice. And, and she scores! That was even more spectacular than the first one. That was, that was incredible. Near the faceoff circle, just a beautiful snipe, top right corner. And things just got heated up. We got a brand new game right now. A spectacular goal by Sodergren from the hash marks. Fires one top corner over the goalie's shoulder and puts it up to 1 1. And all I got to say is Sodergren has been spectacular through these first, this first period. Was that two goals in like 10 seconds? No, uh, that was ridiculous. Well, we'll think, find out in a moment what, what the time is, but probably about 20 seconds between the goals. And, just some real good play by offensive play by both sides, but I guess that's what happens when the uh, refs let him go so long. Oh yes, and now a quick steal for Winchester in the Woburn zone, and pucks hit the ref quite a few times. Not a problem. Nowhere to go when sometimes. It is tough out there, and yep. Winchester will go for another change. Now. Trying to start a play going is Woburn, who will skate up the right wing. It is Pinheiro, and she's able to get it to Soderquist. Goes through one player, and a shot's deflected, and there's a player in front, and the shot was saved by Zhang, and she will just cover the puck. Nearly another great chance for Woburn. Woburn just playing kind of this rapid fire, just dump it in, get in the zone and do your and just take some random shots, but it seems to be working. W Winchester, the the thing I've seen so far, they're playing some pretty sloppy hockey right now. And, and we'll call that back. Gonna be a penalty cross check. Finally, there we go. I didn't see who that was against. I think it might be against Yep. Mandel. Gonna be against Man Mandel. She's gonna get two minutes for a cross check. Now I didn't see that. I and uh, Craig Seabury, he's all upset, but... Must have been right off the faceoff. He's arguing with the ref, but play's already started, so it does not matter now. Yeah, it does. You'll... Unfortunate turn of events for Winchester. But we were not able to get anything so far in the power play. Winchester fighting hard for the puck. Well, that makes sense, seeing that it's been about 15 seconds. There was a penalty missed. And, and that was offside. And a pass across is not there for anyone. Costello now, near her own blue line, will just pass it back for Enhofer, who will send it the length of the ice and clear. And since it's a power play, there will be no icing. And now a steal in the offensive zone for Winchester, short-handed, 4-10. Trying to hold the puck in the corner, waste some time. It'll fall to Bloomsack, who will skate around the net. And she'll get it to the point to Enhofer, whose shot is over the net. Goalie tried to go for the first baseman snag there, but it just didn't go. Just went right past her glove. And now let's see if Woburn can get some offense going. Down the wing is Spinazzolo. And she has a person in the middle, and the pass gets through her stick. And they will have to clear now, since that would be offsides. In comes Pinheiro, who's dispossessed of the puck, and delayed offsides called, and that will be called offsides. Put that all the way back. That should be intentional. Still 30 seconds to go in the power play, although Woburn's only had really one or two good chances. Only on the power play. really had one shot so far on this power play. They, they kind of got to get moving here, or else we're gonna. Have a they goal really need play. to see some better cohesion on the power play. They're kind of just going up and down the ice. And in comes Buckley once again. And she skates through a player, and she's not able to get a shot off. Contested by Ettenhofer. And Winchester not able to clear the puck. And, it, and what a goal. Beautiful pass to Soderquist, who nets her second of the night on a wide-open net. Still a great shot. 
And Woburn is up 2-1 to one with a minute to go in the first period. Soderquist already staring down a hat trick and we're only 14 minutes into the game. Just some real, just the Woburn attack has been unbelievable this whole game so far. It's really been relentless, but can they keep doing this for so long? They're going to get tired eventually. Soderquist will just dump it in and will look to change. And let's see if Winchester can, can take advantage of this change. Up the ice now comes Costello. And she goes around the left side and loses the puck. Now out to the point is Ettenhofer, whose shot will hit the back of the net after hitting the boards. And now Buckley will get it for Woburn, and she will clear and is not able to clear. And they're going to hold the puck on the boards. And puck comes out of the boards finally. Costello shot, and it just went through the crease. Now back the other way comes Woburn. Pinheiro tried to get it, and the laid offside will be called back the other way. Now Buckley for Woburn will just send it in, and we'll go for a change. Or we'll actually not go for a change. We'll just skate around the blue line. And Woburn's able to keep the puck in. And that will be the end of the first period here at O'Brien Rink between Winchester and Woburn. We will be taking a brief break while the intermission happens, and we'll be back on the air in roughly 10 minutes.
second period here of Winchester versus Woburn. I'm Luke Tedesco alongside me, Nikhil Karthike, and take it away, man. And now Mandel versus Soderquist of Winchester, and Mandel wins the faceoff this time. But Woburn will just take the puck back in their own zone. And fighting for the puck is Mandel. She nearly got it, and they'll send it up the boards, Will Woburn, and they'll get it out. Soderquist, a pass for her was deflected near the blue line, and now skating in for Winchester's Dente. Dente will drop it back now and sending it around the board. Settenhofer. Dente tries to get the puck, partially held and is not able to get it. And regathering is Buckley in her own zone, now being chased by Costello. Winchester's really skating hard here. They want the puck. Well, isn't that the point of hockey? Oh, yeah. Oh, and the shot nearly went in. It was a glove save. And another one nearly went in. How did that one not go, the second one? That was... I, I, I agree. How did that not go in? That was incredibly close. And we got the boys team back behind. Winchester still has the puck. Costello's pass in front was off the pads. Some great forechecking here by the red and black. And almost a slew foot. But, you know, we'll just let him play, I guess. Buckley went to the ice there. And they're still fighting for it. It's not out for Woburn. Big Bu zone time here for Winchester. Buckley asking for the call, too. And now she will get the puck and probably try to clear. She's not able to clear. Fortin now has the puck for Winchester. And she had a pass in front. It's not there anymore. Bloomsack takes a shot, and it was blocked by Buckley. Another shot is blocked again. So we started out pretty fast. Walsh from the blue line. Her shot is deflected in front, and it'll fall back to her. She'll try to get it to her partner, and it'll be out of the zone for delayed offside. And they'll just check up and dump it in and now Buckley comes the other way for Woburn she has Soderquist and she will dump it in and some of the players will go for a change now Walsh for Winchester will send it across looking for Lobello couldn't hit her and now Woburn's able to keep it in the zone and now it falls back and a nearly a steal and Lobello still trying to get the puck Woburn will get it now but it will just fall back for Ettenhofer. And a lead pass was missed. And Buckley tries to clear again. Chasing the puck now for Winchester's Mandel. But she's not going to get to the puck. Ettenhofer. And pass was blocked. And in comes Mergo. I think that's Mergo. Actually, it might have been Spinazzolo. Yes, it My is Spinazzolo. Excuse me. And now Buckley will just try to get it across. She seems a little frustrated. Looking again for Spinazzolo was Buckley, but not able to get it. And now Costello will just skate behind her own blue line. Trying to fly down the ice. And she is flying down the left wing now. Just chips it in. And she runs. And the referee <laughs> with the body check. Oh, that was brutal. And they're still playing. They seem lost there. They didn't know if it was going to... Continue. And no, they got the that, they gotta let that go. How? Oh, just oh. wide of the net. And now it'll be covered by Wacker. That was that was an incredible sequence of events there. I'm sure uh, the low referee is gonna hear some words from uh, Miss from Craig Seabury if when he passes by after that. That was uh, that's a play I haven't seen in a while. I've definitely done that a couple times, but never that with that that many eyes on me. Bloomsack now skating around the net, and a pass in front will be deflected. It'll fall back to her, and she scores near the face-off circle. What a shot from Bloomsack. Finds its way to the back of the net, and no. the Winchester players are ecstatic. Great play there by the red and black. We got another brand new hockey game, and there we go. Just a fantastic play, and they were able to just slot that one right I, into the net. And I think that well, that was uh, number 22. That was Bloomsack, right? Yep. Great goal by the red and black. And now coming out is Woburn. Can they get another quick goal? Up the wing. And a centering pass looking for Soderquist is not there. And Zhang will just cover the puck up. Now Winchester will get a change in. 
And it'll be Mandel against Soderquist. And Mandel will briefly have the puck. Tied it up. And they're still fighting for it in the Winchester zone. And the players are going at it a little. Trying to go with a stick lift, and it took about four attempts, but it finally worked. And now Soderquist in the right wing. Winchester player goes flying. And the, the boys' hockey teams are loving this. And the puck will just be saved by Zhang, who will cover it up. And we have another stoppage in play. Wuburn now gets a rare change in, in the offensive zone. Trying to get some fresh skaters on the ice, trying to get some offense going early in the second. And after a brief pause, the ref drops the puck, and it'll come back around for Costello of Winchester. Unable to clear the puck now, ins Buckley for Wuburn who takes the player down with her as she goes to the ice, skating around the back. No, that, and, that, yeah, penalty coming up. And, yeah, we will have a delayed penalty, and the puck goes over the glove of Zhang, and Costello will touch it, and that will be a power play upcoming for Woburn. They're second of the night. We're not able to score in the first one. Let's see how they do uh, here. Yes, they were. Wait, were they? And, uh, yeah, they were. So, uh... Devin Cray are going to go off to the box for uh, two minutes for hooking, and that might have been the easiest call the ref had to make tonight. Just absolute. I mean, yeah, caught up in her jersey, doesn't matter. That's going to be a hook every single time. Ref, make sure everyone's ready, and drops the puck. Back on her way. And at the blue line now for Woburn, again, it comes to Buckley. Go to the corner for Soderquist, a shot, and might have hit the side of the cage. And now Winchester is able to get it behind the zone, and we'll just clear, but it's intercepted. Good play by Buckley there for a second, and it'll just be sent back into the Woburn zone now. Great play there by Dente to get that puck into the Woburn zone. Now Soderquist coming down the ice with it for Woburn. She comes. She has multiple players with her. She'll just drop it off, and it'll come back for Soderquist, who will get it to the point now to Sullivan back in front and there was nobody ready there now Buckley to Sullivan Sullivan shot just wide might have hit the goaltender there great screen of the goalie by the Tanners just some getting in front of that net and blocking and the goalie's sight Soderquist nearly had a breakaway there just a small breakaway now looking for another shot and they're not able to get it. Mandel's not able to clear either. Now Ettenhofer will try to clear. Banks it off the boards. And Sullivan keeps it in. She tries to dump it in. But it looks like Woburn will just let Ettenhofer have it. Now Costello is able to chip yes. it out of the zone. And she comes up the left wing. But does not have the gas left. To chase the puck completely. And now flying the other way now comes Buckley for the Tanners. And she gets past one. And she's not able to gather the puck. Around the net, and chance was missed there. And now flying the other way for Winchester's bloom sack. She's not able to get the puck. And it's going to be kept in by Fortin. Just got to survive 12 more seconds here. Do the red and black. And, yep, power play is almost up. And now a steal for Fortin. And she has a partial breakaway. And a good save from Alyssa Wackro of Woburn. And a penalty coming up for Wo for Woburn. Let's see what it is. On the breakaway. On the break. Let's see what the call is. And she's going to argue her case here for a minute. It's Buckley for Woburn. And she's called she's for tripping. Yeah, I think that was the right call there. Uh, definitely not a good time to take the, uh, the, the uh, penalty. But I mean, I wanted to say this. The Woburn attack get in front of the net. They're because they're screening the goalie. All she can see are the players' butts, and they cannot. She can't see the pocket. That's exactly what you want to do. And uh, I don't know if that was a trip, but no, Boomsack definitely hit not. The deck. No. And then they'll try to set up a play now. Mandel at the point. We'll just play catch with Ettenhofer. Now to Bloomsack and a great pass. Oh, oh and an open net. What? Just wide. Wide open. She can't put it down. And Mendel would just chase back, chase the puck back into her own zone. And she's normally a forward, but she's playing pretty defensive on the power play, just playing at the point. And, and the, the Winchester power play is much more 
formulaic than Woburn. They play a lot of passing, moving around, looking for the perfect shot, but sometimes if you just get too cute with it, you're not going to score. And a shot here is over the net. It'll fall now for Costello. Still a minute left on the power play. Dente will dump it in now for Bloomsack. Gets it to Enhofer, but the pass is past Enhofer and Mandel, and it'll go down the full length of the ice. Now going fast for it is Soderquist of Woburn, but it's past her to Costello now. Tries to get something going, pass was deflected, and dumping it in was at Enhofer, but this will be called icing. So a rare icing on the power play for Winchester will get it back into their own zone. That's the pro. I mean, that's both a blessing and a curse about these kind of power play formulas. That they're playing this umbrella style, which is always great. A lot of passes, never letting the goalie have a moment of respite. But the problem is, if you get too cute and you're looking for the perfect shot, you're not going to get it. It's never going to come. You're going to make a mistake, and it's going to go back down the other way. Sometimes you just got to look for the chance and shoot it on net. And now Walsh will clear it down the length of the ice, and no icing. Pass was likely... Excuse me, there is icing. Doesn't matter. The front ref has... Uh always has a uh, priority there. He makes the decision. And the ref saying that they can't change. Well, they had the opportunity and they elected not to. So, Fortin now will try to get something going with 30 seconds left on the power play for Winchester. Up the ice she goes. And oh, what a one player, what a pass. What a deke by Fortin. It's not able to get another pass off. And now the puck will be dumped in. Enhofer keeps it in at the blue line. And she skates in, looks for a shot, and fought off by the goaltender. And another save. What a save from Wacro. Now, if that was in a boys game, you would have seen some uh, fists of flying after that. But still a great save. Yeah, ne ne next. Yeah, def definitely a very good save by the Woober netminder. And now we're just going to get back and ready to start up again. Last chance on the power play for Winchester. Just about 10 seconds to go. And it will fall to the Woburn player behind the net. Not able to clear, though. Stolen in front, and a pass is not there. Get it back to the blue line now. Penalty expires. And a shot on net. Looked to be tipped. And another save from the Woburn netminder. And they're still trying to get the puck in front. They're unable to. And now Buckley will gather for Woburn. Passes it up for Soderquist, who will fly down the ice, and she will be dispossessed of the puck by Ettenhofer, who's played some great defense tonight, and now she loses the puck. Another steal. A lot of takeaways in this game, and another takeaway there. Now coming up the ice is Dente, who will just dump it in. Just no. barely stayed in bounds. And now, after the change, comes Soderquist for Woburn. Went past one player, and she looks behind. For Pinheiro. And Buckley will look to keep it in the zone. She's able to keep it in now. Back to Pinheiro. And they're going to try to get the puck around the boards. And it's still kept in by Woburn. And now able to clear is Bloomsack for Winchester. And that will be icing as she sent the puck in from behind her own side of the ice. Woburn gets a change in, and we will be underway in a few seconds. Now, I, I've got a question for you. What's that? If the puck is on the red line, and they shoot it down, is it icing or not? I have no idea. It's a yes or no? I'd say no. Yes. If it doesn't fully cross the red line, it's always icing. You learn more every day. And now a quick chance in front. Shot was blocked. Shot from Burke. I got another rules question at the next break. And now Burke again will try to get the puck. Now coming the other way is Woburn. It's Pika. She has two Winchester players on her. And now she's trying to get the puck, but play will be dead to an offside. Actually, perfect time for what I was going to ask. What zone is the blue line in? The neutral zone. Nope. It's not always. Whatever zone the puck is in. Really? I'll explain it. When, when we go to the break, I'll talk to you about it because it's actually a cool rule. Now Walsh trying to generate some offense for Winchester. And she still has the puck now. But her pass is past Sardone. 
Wyburn now just going to try to clear, and they do, but it'll just fall to the Winchester player, Amy Kelly. And now another steal. Walsh has it covered and sends it back out, and it'll just fall to the Wyburn player. And they nearly collide trying to stay on side. That was not something you see every day either. Now coming up the ice is Sardone. And a centering pass just into the skates of the Woburn defenders. Dente will send it to Mandel, who will just chip it back to Dente around the net. And it'll be gathered by Buckley. But then Dente takes it back and a shot just wide. Great stick lift there by Dente. Costello gets a centering pass. Dente is not able to get it. Now Walsh a shot, and that's blocked. And coming up the other way is Woburn. Buckley. And she still has the puck. She has a girl in the center. She skates around the net. Still looking for a pass. And she'll just drop it off. And then losing the puck. And then regathering with Woburn. And now a pass across the ice. Good chance for Costello. Too slow there. Had to move into the zone oh. a little quicker. Had to have a little bit quicker feet. Dente nearly had a golden chance there. Now... Costello has it again after a quick change from Winchester. There's a player in front, and they're not able to connect on the pass. Now, Crayer, a shot blocked in front by Buckley, and Crayer will just send it back in. Now, Bloomsack tried to get it in front, and it was blocked. And back the other way comes Spinozolo, who will just dump it down the center length of the ice, and Zhang will just stop the puck from going into the net. And now a pass out of the zone is deflected, and Buckley's going to keep it in. And she loses the puck now. And she's still fighting for it. Good battle. And Soderquist and Buckley for Wuben are there against Lobello for Winchester. And then eventually Fortin. Now Ettenhofer tries to get it out. A lead pass went past Bloomsack. And that should be icing. And it is. Never touched by anybody. Nope. Now I thought that that may, may have been a little bit too close by the defense. Maybe, maybe let him go there, but... You know, I'll, I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt there. I'll, I mean, defense was always going to get there, but probably could have made a play on it. Another face-off between Mandel and Soderquist. Quite a few face-offs between the two so far. We'll see when you only got two centers. It's going to happen. Yeah, that's fair. Two centers for Woburn and only three for Winchester. Now, one of those centers, Soderquist, tries to get the puck, and she almost does. And now her line mate's going to get it, Pinheiro in the corner and now it falls back for the Winchester player they're still trying to get the puck Pinheiro again has it gets it across and barely keeping it in the zone was Murgo but puck sent just around the boards Pinheiro again now Soderquist has it behind the net Soderquist fought off there by Ettenhofer great defensive play there to get it out now Dente drops it for Mandel, who falls, and now Costello has it. That was a mess. Ettenhofer will just regather for Winchester. She sends it in, and Puck took a high bounce, and that will be called icing, as it was just behind the center line. That was a weird play, uh, but... We've seen quite a few weird plays. Yeah, we've so seen far. a couple. One came up here, and it, it, it just like kind of flicked off of me. I, I, I don't, it didn't hurt. It just kind of like felt like something like touched me, and it did. It was a puck moving at like 50 miles an hour up into the booth. So good job, guys. You gotta get some protective glassing up. <laughs> yes. Glass up here. More fun. Get a little, little get, keep the adrenaline going. Oh yeah. And now speaking of adrenaline, coming the other way is Winchester. Like and the Dente segue. <laughs> Lobello fell down. And now a quick opportunity for Woburn, and a shot from Spinozola was deflected. And they're still trying to keep it in, but Fortin comes back the other way, able to get it out. She has a good chance here. Drops it off her bloom sack, and a shot hits a player. Nearly went in the crease, just out, and Buckley will try to get it out for Woburn. And she's able to get it past the forecheck of Lobello, but only as far as Ettenhofer for Winchester. Now back the other way comes Bloomsack again. And we have one minute to go in the second period. Now Lobello drops it off for Enhofer. A shot wide of the net by a margin. 
And now it'll come back behind. Wyburn will try to get it out again. And now pass for Sullivan went past. And Sullivan will just take it back. And unable to clear now. It was deflected. Some players collide. Now Mendel has it. A shot. And it's fought off by the glove of Wackra. Just kind of batted it down there. And now up center ice comes Mandel, and she's tripped, and that will be a penalty Easy, Uber. Easy call for the official. I mean, yeah, kind of everyone's going down there. I mean, it, it's kind of borderline, but definitely I think the relatively easy call for the official to make. Just put your arm up. and. But the, the fun part the, about being a ref is half of the people here hate you, and the other half love you whenever you make a call, no matter what it is. So that's Pika for Woburn going into the box. And they still have five skaters on the ice. Bit of confusion there. Don't think they thought they were on the penalty kill. Well, I don't know about that, but... Ref just tells the Dente to move back a little. And it falls to the point now. Costello across for Mandel. Costello tapping her stick. She wants the puck. Mandel again. Costello still taps her tick. Stick. And Mandela shoots it, and it'll just be harmlessly blocked away by Wackrow. They have a few seconds left, and another shot. And oh, it goes in with zeros on the clock. I want that. That well, I I don't think I, I don't the know referees it, are going to conference here, but they're going to call that. I think they're going to call that a goal. Yes, they will. With maybe a tenth of a second remaining. Wow. They score! This game has had everything. Zamboni doors are already open. Exactly. Everyone's already going. Exactly! What a weird play! Let's see what the refs say here. <laughs> Looks like they will be calling it a good So, the referees having a discussion here. Players are already off the ice. So, the re what's the call, guys? Well, the... the Kennedy wants to wants an explanation, but I, I think that that's going to be a power play goal for the red and black. And that will take us to the second intermission. So we'll be back in a few minutes, but what an ending to that second period.
three seconds. I think the last time Winchester, like the girls hockey, they kept on switching up lines. Doesn't matter. Then, but all right, looks like they're getting back on. And welcome back to the third and maybe final period. We don't know of this game between the Woburn Tanners and the Winchester Red and Black. My name is Luke Tedesco alongside Nikhil Karthikeyan. And so, girls getting ready now for the third period. So, so far, first and second period have been quite action-packed. And, and the, the goal did count. Yeah. So with the, the goal went in at 1459.9 in the gone in the period with about a tenth of a second left. But doesn't matter. They don't ask how, they only ask how many. Doesn't matter if it's as dramatic as it can get. Or if it's a boring goal, doesn't matter if it goes in or not. It just doesn't matter how it goes in, it only matters if it does or doesn't. But we're just about ready to go for the next for the third and most likely final period. But we do go to OT if if necessary. I think. Just oh. uh, coaches having some final words before the third period. Craig Seabury for Winchester. Steve Kennedy for Woburn. Just telling their players to have at it. Try their hardest. It's their final period of the game most likely. So I think Winchester, the main thing they need to do is put a little more attacking pressure on Woburn. They're a little bit sluggish to get to the puck. They're playing around a lot more. I think they need to be a little bit more straightforward, get more pucks on net, get just better chances than they're getting right now. That's the important thing. Woburn already set to go. Now Winchester skating to the center. Getting ready to go. Crowd making some noise, and we are set to go. Almost. And now we should be good to go. Mendel for Winchester against Soderquist for Woburn. Ref waiting, and now drops the puck, and Woburn gets the face off, and we are underway in the third period. Sullivan now just skating in her own zone for Woburn. Buckley will try to clear and intercepted by Costello. Costello will dump it in, and now gathering the puck again for Woburn is Sullivan. She's dispossessed of the puck by Dente behind the net. She's looking for a pass, and she has Ettenhofer back to the blue line. She takes a shot, well wide off the Zamboni door. Took a weird hop there. And a quick shot from Dente, and it's swallowed by Wacro. And now Winchester will get a full change, except for Ettenhofer. Even her defensive partner will change. Ettenhofer's kind of the uh, the new Ariano Rourke for Winchester. I think she's staying out there because she's a right-handed shot, and they are trying to go for the one-timer on the right side, the left side, excuse me. And. Woburn is able to clear the puck here, and now Buckley up the ice. She has a three-on-one, and she just drops it off, but disastrous play. It goes nowhere. Now back the other way comes Winchester. Lobello up the left wing. She has Bloomsack, but her shot is deflected. Fortin will get it now for Winchester. Puck hits the ref again, and... It's, oh, it's dangerously in front of the net, and the Woburn netminder will just cover the puck, stop the play. Never had possession. I don't know why they stopped it, but she never had possession of the puck. I mean, that one was close. Gotta let the play develop in a situation like that. That that. And the Woburn tenors. Oh my gosh! Quick shot there off the post. That was really close. It'll come back to the point now for Edenhofer, and she'll just skate out of the zone. Winchester will have to tag up. Sends it across now for Costello. And Bloomsack will drop it for Costello, who takes a shot, and it bounces off the ice. And now, after a bit of chaos, the netminder will cover. Great play there by Waka. Already ready and set to go. And Woburn's won most of the faceoffs so far this period. Now Sullivan will take the puck deep in her own zone. Being chased by Mendel. Nearly got the puck. And back the other way comes Soderquist. Pass off the boards. Great bank there. And 
a quick shot and it's still loose and why is the ref blowing that dead it was still free uh, I don't know but uh, lucky break for Winchester I guess but it was loose in the paint yeah abs it was loose in the crease I don't know how they were right on the doorstep they should have let that go now and he was on the correct side to see it yeah but that one goes out of the zone so Woburn forced a tag and tagging back at their own net now. We'll skate around. Get the play restarted. Go back the other way. Now up the center comes Soderquist. Good play. Flying down the left wing now. And a shot. And that finds its way into the net. And that's the hat trick for Soder. Was that Soderquist? I oh. think it was. There's the hat trick. That So oh, wow. no hats on the ice. But that that is the hat trick for Soderquist. She gets her third. <sighs> Luca just trying to throw his glove on the I'm ice. I'm not throwing my glove on the ice. It's cold. But ha hats should flying down from the rafters. Well, they have nets everywhere. I don't yeah, I know. It's, it's, it. It'd be fun if they could, but <laughs> if this was like at, uh, I don't know, uh, Stoneham, they'd probably be able to do it. Now, Horton tries to come back the other way. And Buckley will just take it out for Wubren. She's able to get it out. And now up the wing comes Flavin. Centering pass off the side of the cage. And they will fight for it behind the net. And Hopper comes out with it. And we'll send it up to Bloomsack now. She has a two-on-two -two with Lobello. She's getting some reinforcements now. Skates around the net. Tries a centering pass off Wackro. And now skating hard for the puck is Mandel and puck will be kept in by Walsh a shot oh and it just went wide I don't think the goalie ever got a piece of that oh and that's gonna be a, a penalty what is, what is oh this? boy throw her out of the game Buckley and Dante get Buckley out. out of the game was that was she's then after the play takes some shots and now she's barking at the ref get her out of the game that, was, that should be the end of her night that was dangerous. Not really, but I mean, it, it, I mean, <laughs> well, but kinda. she should be gone Is after full, some of the stuff that there was there was going there. She should be gone. Full on WWE takedown. So now, back underway. Mendel would just play catch with Edenhofer in front, and oh, and the puck just falls to the corner again. And they're still fighting in the boards, so tension's rising a bit. Tied game. Winchester on the power play. Costello tied up by the Woburn player. Wednesday night rivalry, eh? Ettenhofer now sends it across for Costello. Now Dente will look to get the puck, and she gets it across the Bloomsack, who tries to pass, and they will still try to get the puck. Falls to Sullivan again, and she will probably clear, and she's not able to clear, and now clearing the puck is Pinheiro, who had a brief chance for a moment there. Dente will just get it for Winchester. She'll try to get the puck up, and it'll just fall to the Woburn defense, Sullivan. And an Aaron pass picked up by Dente of Winchester, skidding up the left wing, circles, and gets it to Bloomsack. Hit the Woburn defender Soderquist, and now back the other way comes Pinheiro with Soderquist. Soderquist up the left wing, dumps it in, a little chip and chase, and Enhofer will just take the puck for Winchester, try to come back the other way with 30 seconds on the power play. Now Enhofer with a bit of speed, and a shot was just wide. Another shot, and that was blocked. Good transfer, Bloomsack. Mandel at the point will just try to pass it back to Enhofer. A lot of passing here on the power plays, we've noticed so far for Winchester. Pass across now for Costello, a shot! And a nearly tip-in for Bloomsack, unable to get her stick on the puck. And that... Out of bounds. Oh. Into the... Just into the, um... To the Woburn bench, but play stopped, and the face-off takes... Will go inside, so... Finally, a little breather for the players, with 10 seconds to go on the power play. Yeah. Woburn's, I mean, Winchester, as I said earlier, they got to stop looking for the perfect shot and just take the shot that they need to. 
And now Puck would have fallen to Walsh and goes past her stick. Because that's what, that's what happens. And now it looks like power play is over. And Buckley back on the ice for Woburn. Left about a second early, but we'll let it go. I don't think she cares. Well, I care. <laughs> Two-minute penalty for her, leaving the box early. I think that actually might be a penalty. No, there's no penalty. <laughs> there is a penalty if you do that. <laughs> yeah, you have yep. to go back and serve the one second and then go and serve two more because you left early. <laughs> That'd be unfortunate. If you do it again, you're thrown out of the game, I think. Walsh just sends it around looking for Crayer. Now Murphy for Winchester, unable to clear. And the Wolverine players seem a bit tired, as they probably will, being shorthanded. Now up the right wing comes Lobello. Yeah, Woburn just starting to get a little bit sluggish here. And reinforcements coming from the bench in Winchester. That nearly went in. Great save from Wacro. She's been pretty good tonight. Despite the number of chances Winchester's had on offense. And now trying to come back the other way was Woburn. And Costello will get it for Winchester. She just gathers the puck in the corner. Tries a centering pass. The fall to Dente who has a shot. And it's nearly. And that will be a goal for Winchester. Georgia, the Bulldog, Costello gets in there. What a goal by... And with nine minutes to go in the third, Winchester goes up four to three. What a goal there by Costello. You gotta love it. The freshman coming in and making her presence known early. And as Tesco wanted, they just got a quick shot on net, and the rebound fell to Costello. Buried it. Well, you got to do that on the power play. You can't just do that on even strength. Now Costello again trying to get the buck, and up the other way comes Buckley. Tries to chip it in, and it will fall back to Costello again. She oh, tries tried to go for the self-pass. And now the other way comes Soderquist flying down the ice, and the defender fell down. She's looking for number lost. four. She's looking for a Bergeron. And she's still fighting for the puck. Now they keep it in, does Weburn, and now they will have to clear. All I can say is I know who our first star of the game is going to be, but yeah, we won't say it just yet. Ettenhofer tried to clear, and now... It'll fall back for the defenses of Winchester. And Kelly there fighting on the boards for the puck with the Woburn player. And now back the other way comes Lobello. She has a good chance, but Winchester goes for the change and reinforcements arrive late. And there's nearly a long pass to Soderquist. Now Lobello for Winchester dumps it in and goes for the change. Buckley now around the net, her own net, and she tried to get it out, it was deflected, but it will just fall back to Pinheiro for Woburn. Skates up the center, around the left now, and a shot's deflected, and Zhang will just hold on to it for Winchester. Zhang making some pretty solid saves. Haven't, haven't called the goalies' names much in a while, but they're making good plays when they need to, but a lot of mistakes. Hasn't been a very defense-friendly game. It's been a Great attacking game, and you can't fault anyone for that. Gotta love some good offense. Yeah, who doesn't love some good offense? Already seven goals so far, and we still have... Seven plenty. and a half minutes to go. Yep. Great battle. And nobody has the puck. They're just going to hold it on the boards. They're still going for it, and now Edenhofer gets the puck. Sends it back the other way for Dente. Wish we had a camera down there. And now chasing the puck is Costello, but will be beaten by Buckley to the puck. Or will she be? And they keep it in the zone. They still have it in the zone. Buckley's still unable to clear for Woburn, and now the Woburn player, Sullivan, does clear. Sent in just around center ice by Edenhofer, and most of the Winchester players were changed. Back the other way comes Sullivan for Woburn. It's getting across the ice, literally. And pass in front was deflected by Edenhofer. Now back the other way comes Ettenhofer. Nice pass off the board to herself. She has Labello in the center, and she has a good chance and a great save from Wacro. Great reflexes there from the goalkeeper. And offside. That will be offside. Just barely, but a great call by the ref. See, I'm not always 
upset. I'm only most. I'm only mostly upset. Ah, uh, yes. Now Fortin against Soderquist. I'm a bad example. I'm a really bad example. <laughs> and it'll fall back for the Woburn defense. And that was again for definitely not offside. I see Luca does not agree with another call. She tagged up. The puck was in the zone. She tagged. Well, once again, another face-off. We'll try this again, I guess. And Still nobody battle. knows where the puck is. And it finally pops out. Now Crayer will get it for Winchester. She'll just dump it in. And charging in for Winchester's bloom sack. She gets the puck now. Sends it back around. And it'll be gathered by Buckley for Woburn. And looks for a long pass. She almost had it. And she does have it for Soderquist. Who flies in the left side. And her shot scores. That's her fourth goal of the night. Four for number four. Really what tough. a spectacular player this is out here. Maddie Soderquist. Just, I mean, wow. That's phenomenal. Just an unbelievable performance. And we're all tied up again. We're five another brand new game. Period. Oh my. I mean, 5.51 to go, and we're just... The, these teams just cannot get rid of each other. But Soderquist just... An absolutely dominant performance. I'm Here she is again trying to go in. She's going. Oh, oh that's a penalty. That is penalty. a penalty, obviously. And Costello was on the ice for a while. Now comes Dente. And the Woburn player touched the puck. Oh, and that was nearly deflected in. She got absolutely blown up. Who is that? And it will be number Piero for number Woburn. Yeah, 19, Pinheiro, she's going to go for interference. And, I, I mean, that was probably closer to a body check than anything. But, I mean, it doesn't matter. Both, of the, mi both of the minor penalties. But it, Costello got absolutely annihilated there. That was a... Now, I will say this. Pinheiro delivered a heck of a hit. That was, that was a beautiful hit. If this was the boys' game, that would have been hit of the night. But... This isn't. That's a penalty. And that is something that I've always disliked about girls hockey. Let the girls hit. And now back on the power play is Winchester. I believe that's their third time tonight. And a shot was blocked. And here comes Soderquist for third, Warren. Third or fourth at this point. A lot of Now there have been penalties. Oh, yeah. But uh, still, there are a lot that haven't been called. But there still have been a lot of penalties. But if there were, like, we'd be, We'd have... If, if there shouldn't be anyone on the ice right now. If, if <laughs> oh, and Hoffer comes in. And what a save by Wacker. That what? was an amazing shot. Just great IQ. She knew where the puck was the whole time. She was able to get down off the shoulder, bring it down, control the rebound, and get on top of it to make a good stop. Bench is fired up for Winchester. Number one thing you got to do as a goalie. If you're a goal, in the words of Steve Dangle, if you're a goaltender, take the goal! <laughs> favorite Toronto Maple Leafs fan. The only Toronto Maple Leafs fan I've ever liked. Bloom sack now behind the net. Still a minute on the power play. And coach is yelling at them to move it. A pass in front's blocked. It's almost like that's what I've been telling them the whole time. Now Edenhofer will get it in the corner. And Mandel wants the puck at the point. She will get the puck at the point. Looks for a pass. Soft shot is deflected and they score! What a what a play. Another great goal and Winchester back in front again. Just a now, moment. Now, it, it, l l let's all put our bets in. Let's all put our bets in. How long until Soderquist scores her fifth? I'm saying it's going to be within the next minute and a half. Put it in now. So, what I'm saying is by 2.47 on the clock, Soderquist is going to have number five. We're going to be right back to a tie game and they're just going to keep doing this until we go to OT. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Put it in. Play developed like you wanted. If Quick that shot, happens, rebound. If that happens, you all owe me five bucks. Dente goal. Maybe I should buy a lottery ticket. Actually, if, if that's what happens. Timeout called by Winchester. Rightly so. I mean, I, I don't know why Winchester's calling timeout. They have the momentum. You said Winchester. Yeah, Winchester called out. Called the timeout. They have momentum. I don't know why they're calling a timeout. But an unbelievable goal there by. 
They finally the listen to you on attack. the power play. You know, I, I mean, yeah, that, that's their second successful power play. The first one was kind of a dumb luck, but that was an actual... Dente, I think that might be your second. And yeah, a whole bunch of points, but I mean, everyone pales in comparison right now to the girl on the Tanner side of the puck, Maddie Soderquist. And, and she's been out there a lot. Yeah. She rarely gets off the ice, but she's still playing like it's the first minute of the first period. She just is all out attack every single time and really is just a... She's a quarterbacking type center, but she's able to go in and absolutely rip it top side. But the thing that I think that Zhang should start looking for is that glove side shot that Soderin does go up there pretty much every single time. So if Zhang can get her glove just a little bit higher on those plays, expect when it's coming, because she always shoots from the hash marks, she's always going about the same speed, I think that it's an easy stop to shot, shot to stop, but she's making it more difficult than it should be. It's possible but, that's exactly what the coach is saying right now, talking to Zhang real yeah, quick. Yeah, but it's exactly the same shot every single time. And that's not a bad thing at all. Yeah. If it, were, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But Zhang needs to start expecting that glove side wrister from the slot. Now Walsh will just clear it down for Winchester, and this is probably going to be icing, and it will be icing. Good call. And Soderquist, along with her shot, shot's been great so far tonight. She's been flying down the ice through there she the is. Winchester defense, and yeah, here she comes with her distinctive blue stick. Well, a lot of players have blue sticks. I don't exactly call it distinctive, but her number definitely four for number four. That's quite shiny. Bobby Orr out there, eh? And here she is again. Now Edenhopper going hard at the boards. It'll be sent back to the point for Sullivan. And oh, oh my goodness. No goal in the high stick. Yeah. Would have been their fifth. What, was that that would have been Sodergren's fifth. And that's going to go all the way down the other way because that was a high stick. But that would have been number five for Sodergren. And I almost had it. I said it was going to be a minute and a half, and it's barely been, what, 20 seconds? So, I mean, Sodergren just get, just like Ezekiel Elliott, feed her. Feed her. And a quick shot in front, sent wide. Now, Sullivan will try to get it out for Wuburn, and it's stolen by Dente, and now she will clear it for Pinheiro, who has Soderquist now flying down the left side with her. And that should be offside. Soderquist went in a bit early. Had her foot up. Had she had her foot down, that probably would have been onside. As long as she keeps skate contact with the neutral zone, she was going to be onside. And I truly believe had she had her foot on the ice, that play would have stayed alive. And I might not have five bucks. Well, yeah, probably. Now I'm dead serious. You owe me five bucks if she scores. And now up the ice... Comes Wuburn and a great glove save. Zang doing what you wanted. And See, now, if Zang can do that again, but just instead of. Who is that shooting? Uh, instead of Pika shooting, it's Soderquist, then it's a whole other story. And Wuburn has six, six players? And Sullivan will just skate off at the last second. Keo in for her. And kept in by Buckley now. But it'll fall to Fortin, who will try to backhand it out. Comes for Bloomsack. She has Lobello now. And Lobello up the right wing. Just dumps it in. Chip and chase. Going after the puck. And it'll fall to Bloomsack. Someone yelling, come on, Carly, at the bench for Carly Bloomsack. Let's see when they pull the goalie. I think it's going to come any, probably any second now. We... We should see the goalie leave and move and put on that extra attacker. Once, looking for OT. Maybe if there's get some offensive zone time in, they'll pull. And Winchester, it looks like they're not going to let that happen. They just want to keep it in the offensive zone. And now Woburn can regather. Now coming down the left wing is Pinheiro. And Winchester is still fighting for the puck near the Woburn zone. And Woburn will just try to get it out. And there's Soderquist again, but she's not able to get a clean pass. And it falls to Krayer. Whose pass is also deflected. 
comes to Soderquist again. And now here comes Costello for Winchester. And Soderquist takes the puck back. Great, pretty equal size matchup there. And Costello goes down, though. And they're not able to keep it in there, and Walsh will just send it back in. And look now who they're, look who they're flooding. Look who they're marking with, like, three skaters at the same time. It's and Soderquist. They cannot let her score. They can't. And here comes Pinheiro and a shot. Did that hit the mask? I think it hit the pad. Oh. Is it bad that I want Ruben to score again? <laughs> 146 to go with a goal. He's gone. And Extra attacker is out there for oh, Ruben. Oh, oh, pass in front. Nearly had a chance. Now Soderquist will just fight on the boards against Mandel for the puck. And she, around the net, she just circles. She's looking for a pass, trying to do it all herself, and she loses the puck. And a penalty coming up here. Winchester gets a penalty for hooking, and that is Georgia Costello, and that's exactly what you don't want to do at this exact moment. 122 left, 82 seconds to play, and Woburn has a power play. Right? Now. Why are they taking Soderquist off? Oh, no, she, she just go to the bench. She's just getting, like, she's getting the play. Red 42. Even more important, it's a six on four since they still have the goalie post. One minute, 22 to go. And this is going to be interesting. Timeout and called by Woburn. Woburn called a timeout. They're going to drop some strategy here. Definitely drop a play. I think you just get Soderquist to get a chance. Yeah, that, that's all you got to do. You just got to get it to her, get her the shot on the one tee from the slot, and you got yourself o overtime. I mean, so I lost, by the way. I lost the bet. That's... I, I don't owe you... I don't know any of you guys five bucks, because I mean, you I guys never, never I said. never shook on it. Exactly. But, I mean, Wo Woburn has an opportunity here, and I think they can pull it off. Now, this is the absolute best time. They, they, they couldn't have asked for a better time for a power play. Now, if you're Winchester, you really just need to lock down defensively, not let anyone get any big chances, anyone get open, anyone get a free shot in. Just play physical, get some block shots. Mighty Ducks, stack the box. Just stack the crease, get everyone in there. Wolverine, may we see a flying V? I don't know. We'll see. Fun is the, the, most, the funniest part about that play, the flying V was offside and they didn't call it. But I, I, I will, will be upset about that till the day I die. The inaccuracies of not calling an offside on the flying V. How dare they? That's Disney for you. <laughs> Why do the Ducks have to win? I wanted Iceland to win, personally. See, now I've turned heel. And, and so, so now I'm the villain announcer, I guess. No, but yeah, w Winchester, they got to just, just all out defense right now. So if, if they put four defensemen out there, I wouldn't have a problem with it. And it guess like what? I think be... that's exactly what they're going to do. No, that, that's... Is it? I think that's exactly what they're doing. No, I think they have two defense, two offense. That would make slight... That would make slightly more sense. Now, gathering the puck is Pinheiro looking for Soderquist. Who passes the point for Buckley. Buckley across now for a shot. And it's loose in front. And it looks like the ref will just... Blow the play dead. Play, yeah, just 104 to go. Winchester's got to make something happen here. They have to stop the Woburn attack because they've been all out all game. And this cannot continue for the next 104. Or And if they do let it go, then suddenly but, we're into overtime. And a shot, and it hit the goalie. I don't think she saw that. Woburn's getting an excellent screen, and she fell. And Soderquist is, loses the puck, and it's cleared finally for Winchester. Everyone's got to get on side, and they do. And Buckley now skating in. She's poke checked. Pinheiro in the corner tries to circle around. She has Soderquist, and then a shot in front was blocked. And another try at a pass in front was deflected. Soderquist with a shot. Oh, and it nearly went in. It just went wide. Soderquist from the OV slot. And now to fall back to her, there's... About 20 seconds to go. The flash bulbs are flashing here. And 20 to go. Winchester still can't clear. And it's Soderquist. A shot. It just went wide again. 
the uh, Pinheiro for Ruburn. Ten seconds to go. You gotta make something happen right now. She gets Buckley. in and she loses the puck. There's five seconds to go. Penalty! No! And let's see what. No, is. you can't call that. And there's three seconds to go, so it's gonna require a miracle now for Ruburn. You cannot be serious. A six on three for the next three seconds. Oh. No! I, no, I Michael! No, no, this is not right! They don't want the game they to end. They want you to reinstate the last lap. They just don't want the game to end. Yeah, and, and, and <sighs> Seabury's gonna get his, his two cents. And, and, and I love the officials. They're moving into just like a, everyone in the box because they know where that puck's gonna go. If Sauter, they need a shot. Just get it back to Buckley and get a quick shot. And she's not able to get the quick shot, and they'll just Winchester. tie her up. And Winchester will win the game. On the most. Wow. That was. That, that was, was insanity. That was the but definition of dramatic. What an end to the game. And the Winchester and, players will just crowd the goalie. And, and I mean, just uh, th that was honestly. That was one of the best hockey games, period, I have ever seen that in my was life. Incredible. What a great game. 5-4 the final here from Winchet from Woburn. Well, thank you all so much for joining us. And my name has been Luke time. Tedesco. I'm Nikhil Karthikan. We will see you back here in about 15 minutes for the second of our doubleheader, the boys Winchester versus Woburn matchup. We'll see you then.